Hauser turnaround. Not there. Aikens with the offensive rebound. Hauser launches and knocks it down. Hill for two, and we're tied at nine. Tell you what, both of these teams, despite how ugly it's been, one of them wants to come out of here with a W. <laughs> and the effort is there, the efficiency just is like part today. No, it's been part. Hauser turnaround, no. Paul, the offensive rebound. Hauser for three. His third. Here's Akins for three. Cannot match. Tipped around. Hauser has it and puts it in. NCAA tournaments and two of the six are these two coaches. Chris Holtman something? going back to Butler and Tom Izzo. Tom Izzo, such a terrific coach, and he's a coach's coach. There you see Cole. A turnover by Walker. Thornton up ahead to Sensabaugh. And he, no call. Thought there was a whistle. Instead, Malik Hall with the rebound. Chris Altman is screaming. That's a foul. Hauser transition three. Yes. I know we harped on it early and mentioned it, but it does seem that Michigan State, with some extra time off, their last game on Tuesday, getting some rest and also getting back to practicing, it seems to have made a big difference. I agree 100%. And this team, along with a couple of others in the big team, Hauser with his eighth rebound inside two minutes to play. For the Buckeyes, another disappointing. Actually, one of the few where they haven't been competitive. Only had a few moments in this one. They were in the game, otherwise, turnovers, lack of shot making, Michigan State's proficiency.